okay, you know I have to get in on this. This Aquaphor Magical Under Eye. <laughs> You've probably already seen this. I've only seen it done on women 50 and under. I want to see if this is going to work on the 67 year old eye. Here is what I look like. Right now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this under my eyes and then I'm going to go do my makeup and then I'm going to show it to you and then I will come back later and see if it really is all that magical. This is something as simple as Aquaphor lip balm. All I have is on my sunscreen and everything's set in. Do it for a couple of times. I don't like dragging it, but I want to do it. And then he went down here. I'm going to do this. This is fine lines. I'm putting it in my fine lines, okay? And there's no waiting, apparently. I can't remember all the places I just put it. I did not let you know, and I'm very sorry about this, that you really need to clean under your eyes. Make sure you have no bacteria because you can trap bacteria with an occlusive and it can cause those little white bumps called Mila, the, the ones that you see on babies. So having said all this doesn't mean that you can't try it. You just need to prep your skin correctly. You know your skin better than anybody else's and you just go from that. I'm going to take my tried and true concealer, this Neutrogena. And this is called uh, underpainting. I almost wanted to say underpants. So you put this on first before foundation. Ladies, this is a true test on my face because I am 67, not yet going to heaven. And wow, it seems it makes sense that it will go on smooth because it's an occlusive under there and people have probably done something similar with other products but this just seems to be the big um, trend so I wanted to try it. Alright ladies <laughs> okay I'm gonna go put on my makeup and I will be back and show you what it looks like then and then we'll go forth. <gasps> Okay, ladies, here I am. Just completed my makeup. That's my under eyes. Still looking good. And then I just wanted to throw in, I'm sure you've noticed my eyes. Oh, this is my So Elemental Color Pop. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Then I used the Sky High Maybelline in blue. And then NYX's uh, eyeliner in Sapphire Bling. I'm just loving the plane with the colors. I'm wearing IT foundation. I'll list everything in the description below of what I'm wearing today. This is going to be a real test to me because we want to see if this aquaphor is going to hold this on because I have chronic dry eye, so I have to use eye drops. But anyway, I'll see you in six hours and we'll see how this puppy wore. Okay, beautiful ladies of my heart, it is 5.26 p.m. I've had on the aquaphor and the concealer since 11.30. Here is my eye up close, my left eye. My right eye. I haven't done anything. I haven't done any touch up. I've I've uh, had to put eye drops in, but I was I didn't rub or wipe. I just dabbed. And here's the pictures of my eyes from this morning, right after I put on the Aquaphor and the concealer. A little more hydrated looking then. I have been outside. It's been windy and you know blustery. Can't make up its mind. So I think we are on to something here, ladies. I want to continue to use this the next week, and. Try it with concealers that I know set in the fine lines and wrinkles and see if this makes a difference. And then I will let you know what I find. If you try this, please let me know what you have found, if you like it, if it hasn't made a difference. I put it here too. I mean, put it in places lightly where you have a tendency to have your foundation sit in your fine line and wrinkles. And I'm going to continue to do that. If you're new to my channel and you like my vibe and energy, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the like button. And my returning ladies, I can't do this without you. Have a blessed day. Lala is out.